Mm -hmm. Looked like you got some sleep last night, man. Man, I went to bed at 3 o'clock, woke up at 7. Oh, you mean 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. Yeah. 3 p.m. Okay. yesterday. Well, went, woke up at 7, mm -hmm. went back to sleep. Oh, at you night. need oh. it. You're all over the I place. I finally got some rest. I good. feel good. I good. feel good. You look good. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Steph Curry certainly looked good. The Warriors extend the best star in NBA history and improve to 20-0 in Steph Curry's hometown on a night when the Hornets honored Curry's father, Dell, the franchise's career scoring leader. It was Steph who stole the spotlight yet again, though, scoring 40 points in three quarters as the Warriors defeated the Hornets. Skip, how yes. incredible, <laughs> incredible. I feel like I keep asking you this. With on, Steph's on, a, on a scale of one to a billion, yeah. how incredible. I, I think I got to get up to like a hundred million this time. Okay. Stephen A. Smith. If possible, Steph Curry outdid himself last night. He once again did something I didn't think I'd ever see. And let me quickly set the scene. Of course, Steph is back in his hometown of Charlotte on the night his father, his great father, great yes. shooter, yes, he Dell, was. was to be honored at halftime. In the stands are all of Steph's buddies from his favorite team, the Carolina Panthers, the undefeated Panthers, from mm -hmm. Cam to Josh Norman to Jonathan Stewart. And like everyone else, I tuned in thinking, uh-oh, Steph may just put on a show from the start. No, he didn't do that. He had no other plans for us last night. He let his buddy Clay Thompson score 16 in the first quarter. He deferred to, to Clay. It was cool, liked it. And, but I'm thinking, well, well, is Steph a little nervous tonight, maybe? Because so, all the Panthers are there and it's Father's Night. Mm -hmm. Nah, he's not nervous. So Steph said before the game, he hoped they would have a big halftime lead so that he could participate mm -hmm. in the halftime ceremony. And I'm thinking, well, that's, that's a great thought, Steph, but listen, the Charlotte Hornets were 8-2 and two at home, so they weren't exactly pushovers at home. And I'm thinking, do you really think you can have a big hat? Well, so they lead by 9 at halftime. Steph did come out. Steph did participate with his entire family. And then in the third quarter, Steph Curry said, watch this. But he waited a while because in the first seven minutes of the third quarter, he scored only seven points. And then in the final five minutes of the third quarter, Steph Curry scored 21 points in five minutes. I, I didn't think that was humanly possible. But he scored 14 of those points in the final minute and 53 seconds. And I'm thinking, that can't happen unless, as you and I often talk about, you can make three-pointers like their layups. You can make them almost from half court like their free throws. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did. He, he made his last four threes in the final 153. Went the distances from 25 feet, 30 feet, 29 feet, and 30 feet. And for those who don't get it, the line's about 24 feet. So the, the last couple, he's shooting them six feet beyond the arc. Well, it's, when you when you... You say, he's pulled up from 30. It, it's, it's way out there. You know how far it is. And he's just like, they're, they're effortless. And, and they are swishing. There are no doubts about these shots. And I just sat back and said, I've never seen that before. And then it got brought up on the Warriors telecast how the slender kid from a little, school, little high school and a private school in Charlotte did not get a D1 scholarship offer, and now he is revolutionizing the game of basketball? I'm sorry, today he has run me yet again out of superlatives. Your well, thoughts? Well, like I said, he's the best player on the planet right now. Over these first 20 mm -hmm. games, he's the best player on the planet. I mean, it's just that Think simple. about that. And, and he is revolutionizing the game of basketball because for so long, due to Air Jordan, and then, you know, Kobe and yeah. then LeBron, LeBron with D. Wade and these yeah. boys. You know, you look at the guys and their athleticism um, and you just said to yourself, you're looking for an aerial assault to rival the ages because <laughs> Michael Jordan had you thinking right. about Julius That's Irvin, right. uh, who had you thinking about Connie Hawkins or vice versa. And you looked at stuff like that and that's what you saw. The reason why what Steph Curry is doing so special and it's so impactful is because even though you saw LeBron and Kobe and, and, and MJ and those guys, in your heart of hearts, you knew for the most part you couldn't do what they could sure. do. That's right. When you see a guy like Steph Curry shooting the basketball the way that he does, although he is the greatest shooter I have ever seen 
ever, ever. in I'm NBA history. The flip side to it is that if you are in the park and you just happen to be a 6'1 or a 6'2 guard, if you can shoot jump shots and you can pull up from three, you too can be the league MVP for the greatest basketball league in the world. You can be okay. that guy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost similar to what I was telling you about, you, you know, months ago when I went on that little soliloquy about how Jay-Z and, 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 and Kobe and Shaq and all and Tiger Woods mm -hmm. and these billionaires, they're not the American dream. They're the yep. American, they're the American fantasy mm -hmm. becoming reality. You know, and I said, I'm the American dream yep. because just a regular dude, work hard, get your education, et cetera, et cetera. Well, transfer it to basketball. You too can beat Steph Curry. You two can mm -hmm. go out there in the park, and if you practice enough work, I don't know if you can be him because, my God, I've never seen a shooter like that in my life. But you got a better chance of being him if you can work on your jump shot. Shoot about a thousand jump shots a day. Yeah. Make sure, you know, practice your long range marksmanship, you know, along with the handling. You two can be that dude. He's just on another level, though. I have never seen a shooter like this in my entire life. And when you combine that with the league, the implementation of the new rules, there is simply no way to stop this young brother right here. It is special mm -hmm. beyond measure. <laughs> and not only that, keep in mind that his father, people don't realize this, and it was beautiful to see Del Curry honored last night because he deserved it. Your all time score leader in, in, in you know, Charlotte history. The way that man could shoot a basketball. Del Curry was special as a marksman, but he was a spot shooter. Off screens, off picks, pull up, couldn't leave him open. He was burying those threes all day long. Hit over 900 for the Charlotte Hornets in their franchise's history. But his son doesn't need the picks and the screens. He can boogie on you with his own handle. He can create his own shot off the dribble. And oh, by the way, he doesn't spot up anywhere. It's off balance. It's falling backwards. It's leaning forwards. It's falling one sideway, sideways, one way to the right or to the left. It's the corner. It's the wing. It's the key. It's half court. It's the hashtags. It's 15 feet in. It does not matter. And you saw Kemba Walker, poor Kemba Walker, because this young brother out of UConn can play. Sure. Kemba Walker is a special player. Mm -hmm. My God, did he get humbled last night. And, and it was so telling when they showed the highlights on SportsCenter how one time Kemba he Walker just turned around, well, got, he, he lost, got lost, and just dropped oh, his arm and was like, that's Lord, it. that's good. It's, it's over. Yeah. And we're not even counting about three or four occasions where Steph Curry launched threes and literally turned around and walked away like he did mm -hmm. in the commercial for Under Armour. <laughs> literally turned around and walked away before the ball went through the hole. What you're seeing has never been done. Mm -hmm. It's been done by Bird on an occasion. Sure. But the level of I got consistency it. I got it. with Not which like you're this. seeing him, right. there is no player mm -hmm. in NBA history mm -hmm. that has done what this kid is doing from a marksmanship perspective. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm looking at OKC with Kevin Durant. I'm looking at the Clippers. I'm looking at the San Antonio Spurs. And I'm like, how are you going to stop this mm -hmm. kid? I don't know how Utah did a decent job the other night until the final two minutes. They did. You know, and how are you mm -hmm. going to stop this kid? I don't know how you stop somebody that can pull up from half court and has the green light to do it. I just don't know how you do it. So a kid who's not a power leaper is dominating what we always call the man's game of NBA basketball as an artist. He's an artist shooting long distance. Mm -hmm. And it's creating such awe in me, and I'm not that easily awed, mm -hmm. that I'm trying to frame this. Go with me on this real quick. Yeah. Big picture, things that I've seen in my career, my lengthy career, mm -hmm. covering all sports that awed me. I got to cover Michael Jordan in his final year with the Bulls. Mm -hmm. Every game I went to, he did one thing that night that would make me think, I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Just one thing. Yep. One thing. Now, they'd be different things. Mm -hmm. One thing. Then Tiger Woods, when he broke out and broke through in that Tiger Slam period around 2001, 2000, right in there, mm -hmm. he was dominating golf. In what, I'm a big golf fan. I'd never seen anything like that. The length off the tee coupled with the great short game, and he was the greatest clutch putter I had ever seen. Mm -hmm. Now, brings me to my final and top 
n number one awe moments of, of my career were created by Barry Bonds. 2001, I covered that Giants team. I know there were steroid suspicions. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Barry Bonds was the first hitter I ever saw dominate the pitchers. You remember, yes. you, you know, pitchers have the yes. advantage. If you hit 300, you're winning, man. You're making millions yes, of bucks, are. right? That's right. Okay, I saw Barry Bonds in 2001 as he was on his way to hitting 73 home runs. Every night he would see maybe two good pitches, and he would hit both of them really hard. That's impossible. So I was as, in awe then of another Bay Area athlete as I am now, where I'm putting this on the level of what Barry Bonds was doing in 2001, where he hit so many few pitches so hard that I'm saying I'm equating Steph now with Barry Bonds. That's where I am. It's you're a leap sports. Yeah. <laughs> you're not wrong, but I'm going to go a step further. Okay. Barry Bonds was the man. So you walked into there intimidated by him because he was the man. And as a result of him being the man, you were lucky if you were Barry Bonds to see those good pitch pitches. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it showed extraordinary patience on his part. Just waiting for the moment, not falling for the okie doke mm -hmm. balls yeah. that you shouldn't no. be swinging at, et cetera, et cetera. But being the man, you get to anticipate that. I thought LeBron was the man. I did too. I thought Kevin Durant was I'm the with man. You. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought all of these dudes, even though Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors stand here today as the reigning defending NBA champions, we still said, well, Kevin Love was hurt. Kyrie Irving was hurt. I'm still of the mindset that Cleveland would have won that championship if both Kevin Love and Kyrie were healthy. But I got to tell you, I got to tell you, right now, the way Steph Curry is playing, and what he's doing, and I watch, and I watch this, and, and Kemba Walker is not a star, but he's a big time little yeah, player. I got a lot of respect for I Kemba agree. Walker. I'm with you. And, I, I, and he shouldn't be, even though he was in two for 16, just four points last night, it would have been nice to see him at least get his, like mm. score 25 or 30 along the way. It would have been nice, but I'm not going to hold it against him because I know he could play and I know how it could demoralize you. But here's what Steph Curry is doing. And the word demoralization kicks in, Skip, because it's apropos. He's going against guys, and he's making them yep. humble. Mm -hmm. Okay? He's like, oh, my Lord, what can you do? The only guy that I saw go against Steph Curry, when Steph Curry was, like, doing his thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's one thing when you, you playing against Utah and you're struggling that mm -hmm. particular night or whatever. Yep. But when he went against Chris Paul, and Chris Paul showed up, and was balling himself. And yep. we knew Steph Curry was coming. Mm -hmm. yep. Even though Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors won, even mm -hmm. though Steph Curry closed the deal in the fourth quarter, you saw the greatness of Chris Paul because Chris Paul wouldn't bow to the altar of Steph Curry. That's true. I'm, I, that's why I can't wait till February 6th when Westbrook goes up because mm -hmm. I know Westbrook ain't bound to nobody. I can't. I, it's the one game okay. I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I cannot but it's tell It's only you like about one it. game, so you're saying, but, okay, but, they but, might be in trouble but, for but, one but, game. But I guess what I'm saying, they could lose a game. I know. I'm just talking, this is about Steph Curry, not about I got the teams. It. I got it. I'm watching him demoralize guys. I'm watching him do what Michael Jordan did to the psyche mm -hmm. of defenders, and that's just leave them utterly helpless. That's what okay. Steph Curry is doing right now. Okay, wouldn't you agree he's much better or even better than he was during the finals last yes. year? That's, yes. That's the point. Yes, yes. absolutely. And, and, and he's got a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. Like LeBron said, yeah. they seem to have more of an attitude mm -hmm. and they won the championship yeah. than we have as I guys agree. and we're the runner-up. I'm with that, you. That, that is a problem. So it's going to be very interesting to see how long this continues because, Skip, what I'm loving about this as a basketball guy, we all know that's my bread and butter, mm -hmm. as a basketball guy, what I'm loving about this is that Steph Curry has me looking for who the men are around the league. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do mm -hmm. as this little kid, 6'3", shooting a kid. the ball from yeah. everywhere? He's not that little, though. He's standing well, in front like, of him. I mean, he's no, got I mean, some height on him. Three. He's That's right. Three. But I'm like, you look at him, and I'm like, wait a minute here. Again, I'm not calling anybody mm -hmm. out. I swear to you, I'm not. Yeah. I know what LeBron can do. But do you see him coming? Kyrie Irving, you want to come back healthy and ready to go. Are you going to be ready for this, mm -hmm. brother? Because he's here. Mm -hmm. You're coming, Kyrie. What you going to do? Derrick Rose and those boys, when you come up, you see what this kid is doing? Russell Westbrook, February 6th. You see them talking about him, right? Kevin Durant, you're 6'10". 
You got a 7'6 wingspan, and you've got range like Steph Curry. How come you're not doing what he's doing? Mm -hmm. You're going to let this continue? Kawhi Leonard for San Antonio. You going to defend this brother now because you're going to need to. I'm just saying. I, I don't I'm, think he can. I, I'm just saying. I'm just I saying. All I'm saying is that's how you're I looking. Then Steph Curry is forcing me to look around mm -hmm. the league I agree. and say, what are the rest of y'all going to do about what we're How we are you going to respond? Yep. Last night was Curry's sixth 40-point game of the season. That's twice as money he's ever had in a season. And you brought up baseball to give this some context. The last time a team has started 20-0 was 1884. Mm. That was 11. Baseball's Union Association, the St. Louis Maroons, 1884. So 10 of 11 in the, first, in the third quarter. It's incredible. All five three-pointers, 28 points in one quarter. Can we get a thesaurus? Did